Anirudhan, with this battery, I mean, mm -hmm. we got 3 volt. Yes, correct. When we connected like this. Yes. I was randomly trying something. Hmm. I actually connected like this. Yes, correct. And then measured. What did you get? It was almost zero. It was almost zero. Okay, let us see. Maybe we can draw it. Um, we showed only two connections here. Uh, parallel and series. Correct. But what you are suggesting, actually there are four ways. Because there is polarity and the way of connecting. Correct. So, the way what you are suggesting, I will show it like this. So, the first battery is connected like this. Yeah. And now the second battery you want to connect like this. Yeah, this is what this I have Is this correct? This is what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. What is the potential difference for the first battery? V. It is V. Now, the second battery has a potential difference like this. Now, oh. that means that the potential difference between these two points will actually be 0. It will okay. be V. So, that is not a surprise. That is not a surprise. Okay. In fact, that is like saying your third point mm -hmm. is back at 1. Okay. Okay. So, it is like saying I have my electric field like this. I start from point 1, go to point 2 and come back to point 3. Okay. So, 1, 2 and 3. So, I go like this and come back here. 1 and 3 are at the same potential. potential. There is no potential difference. Understood. So, Understood. this is uh, plus V, this is minus V, something like this. So, if you connect them like this. So, if I connect a resistor across that. There will be no current. Zero current. Zero current. So, in fact, if you connect a resistance across it, you will not get any current at all. Whether I connect small resistor or large. It does not matter <laughs> what resistance you connect, the current will be zero. <coughs> because the potential difference is zero. Now. Like uh, this voltage source. I heard something called current source. Oh, okay. Yes, correct. That is a very, very important component in electrical engineering. Just like you are imagining a potential difference, uh -huh. which if you close the loop, if you connect a resistance, there will be current flow. You can think, so the way we thought about it, there is an electric field, there is a charge. Correct. And uh, we uh, said that that is electrochemically replaced by this. Now, you can imagine that there is something that can constantly push charge. Always. Always. It always pushes charge. So, I am going to call that a current source. Just like you had a voltage source, this is a current source. Oh, so, this is a symbol for that. This is the symbol for a current source. Just like this is a symbol for a voltage source or a battery, this is a symbol for a current source. And just like we had a potential difference V, we represent the current that this is pushing as I. Okay. So, what does that mean? So, constant current I. Constant means. current I flows from one terminal to the other, always. The arrow inside this shows the direction, direction. of. So, current. depending on whether I connect to lower resistance or high resistance. It current will be know. same. Current will be the same. You look at the other case, you look at this case, independent of whether you connected uh, a low resistance or a high resistance, the potential difference across the resistance was, was the same. same. Okay, okay. Just like that, irrespective of whether you connect a low resistance or a high resistance, the current is always the same. So, I am going to show you a circuit. So, let us say I take this and I connect a resistance across it. So, this current is I. I am going to connect a resistance R. Okay. So, in this case, heat generated will be more for higher resistance. Yes, huh? that is correct because okay. current is constant. constant. That is correct. So, the current flowing through the resistance is always I. And therefore, the power is I squared R. So, you use a larger resistance, you will get more I current, higher current.
and the voltage across the current source is now decided by the value of resistance. Value of the resistance, that is correct. So, now the voltage is now Ohm's law tells us that mm. for a resistance I into R. I into R. So, this voltage is I into R. So, this is a very commonly used electrical component which everyone should know, which is called a current source. So, now we know three components. Mm. We know voltage source or battery, yes. we know current source and we know resistance. By the way, um, I think you must have studied, uh, Janaki Raman must have taught something about a circuit like this which pushes out current. Did not you study a char char battery charger? Battery charger we used. We, we used it, you did not yeah, study it. We did not study so, well. the battery charger actually pushes current, current like, this. Okay. like this to charge something because mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. basically moving charge into mm -hmm. some component. Here we have drawn it with the resistor, it could be something else. So, like the battery in series or parallel, can I have current sources also in parallel? Great question, <laughs> great question. Of course, you can, mm -hmm. okay. Of course, you can. In fact, you can do series and parallel combination of almost anything. Okay. In some cases, the circuit will work. In other cases, other things will happen. Sure. But you can almost always try connecting them in series or parallel. So, for example, let us try connecting two current sources in parallel. Like this. Okay. So, now, this will be double the current. It will give you double the current. Just like okay. that it gave you the same voltage. The series connection gave you double the voltage. The parallel connection gives you double the current. Now, in the next class, we are going to study this more formally mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. now you can extend this. Yeah. But now, there is each one is giving you current I. You can imagine that the current coming out is 2 I and this current flowing into the other terminal is 2 I. Suppose the battery mistake I did. Yes. Here if I flip one of the current sources. Here if you flip one of them, you will get zero current. Total current, total output current, current will be zero. That is correct. So, if you flip the current direction. Mm. this current will be 0. So, it will be just circulating inside. It will just be circulating inside between the two sources. You can also connect this in series. Mm -hmm. So, if you connect two current sources in series, same values. Same values. Mm. So, it is like connecting, remember the case where we connected two voltage sources in parallel, this case. The potential difference was still V. Just like that, in this case, the current coming out is still I and the current flowing in from the other side is still I. It looks like just a current source of value I. Yeah. 